there's like three key points uh, that kind of turned my trading around. And I think all of them have to do with having unrealistic expectations. Um, and I think like the simplest example is if you take a, a back test drawdown um, and then people will kind of size their system um, or, or allocate enough money to that system based on, you know, that worst case scenario. Or maybe they take the back test drawdown times one and a half. Um, and that's kind of what I was doing. That just wasn't enough. So then I learned about Monte Carlo simulation, which is basically a reshuffling of the order of the trades uh, in its simplest form uh, and, and kind of recalculating an equity curve um, for each one of those reshuffles. Um, and that's essentially what that graph that you're referring to is. And I think if you look at the the single equity curve that I hand drew in to the the Monte Carlo equity curves, uh, you could see that that back test was at the very top of the distribution or of the, it was one of the best performers, if you will, of the reshufflings. And to me, people will look at that, the single back test and think that, oh, wow, this made, you know, I don't remember in that example what it made, but it made, let's just say it made 50 grand in, you know, a hundred trades or something to keep it simple. And if you look at the distribution um, or the Monte Carlo curves from the reshuffling, uh, 50 grand is highly unlikely to repeat itself in the next 100 trades. So when people begin to trade, you know, they'll, they'll realize, you know, after 50 or 75 trades that they're nowhere near that, you know, that they're not going to make 50 grand in 100 trades and they think that their system is broken. Um, and it's, it's not really a matter of it being broken. It's just a matter that you had unrealistic expectations going into the next 100 trades. And I think looking at that distribution and knowing where your equity curve is in that distribution helps you create more realistic expectations and can contribute a lot to survival and, and then ultimately success.